Hey, this is Isara with UX Emotion, and I'm going to show you how to create a motion path in After Effects. Okay, so what is a motion path? Well, if you're doing like a UX project and you have like a radial progress bar with like a little indicator like we're gonna be doing right now, you may wanna have that indicator just move along the actual path itself. If you were to manually create that, it would be a total pain in the ass. I'm gonna show you how to use your own assets to just define the motion path. It's a really simple copy and paste thing. There's a couple little tricks that you have to know. Also, I've included all the source files, the After Effects and the, uh, and the Illustrator file, so don't forget to download that so you can follow along. Now, I will say real quick, um, I've created a bunch of also other tutorials on my site, UX in Motion, um, all kinds of UI animation stuff, so head over there, check that out. I've included the links below. And if you've never worked with After Effects and you wanna get started, go check out my Fast Start series, put in your email, and I'll send you a bunch of free videos. There are three free videos on how to get started with UI animation in After Effects. It's awesome stuff. Okay, so let's check this out. So I'm just gonna play back what we're doing here. And here's the motion path we're working with, is this. And it would be really difficult to actually create that by hand. So we're gonna skip that entirely, and we're just gonna do copy and paste. So I'm gonna start with a new document here, and I'm just gonna import this asset and show you, so command I. And again, if, if, if you get lost with just this basic stuff here, um, just go and watch my fast start, because um, that'll cover everything for you. If you hit command K, you can bring up your composition settings and change your background color. And um, so here, here's our design here, just uh, two simple layers. These were made in Illustrator. If you click one of your layers and hit command E, Illustrator actually, um, After Effects, opens that file in the native program. So in this case, uh, like Illustrator. So the, conceptually what we're doing is we have this asset already created. We're just gonna be using that path again for our project for, as a motion path. So I'm just gonna duplicate this layer by alt dragging. And I'm gonna delete the, um, the stroke now. So there's no effects, there's no filler stroke on here. You have to do that to copy and paste it. I'm now gonna hit Command C to copy it go back to After Effects. If I hit P on the keyboard for my um, position property with my layer selected, I'm gonna click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Now I'm just gonna paste. And you, it's important that you hit paste with this property selected or it won't work, but check this out. It did that. Now I have the, um, the motion path set in, which is great. Couple quick things. Uh, if it puts it in the wrong place, which does happen, how you move it, how you physically move it, you can't just sort of click and, and just move it, it actually makes a new keyframe and causes a whole bunch of problems. So what you have to do is you have to make sure your playback head is over one of the keyframes, click the property to select all of them, and now from the keyboard you can kind of just nudge it around or just click and drag to move it wherever you want. And that's sort of the way you rep reposition that. The other thing I'll say is that if you want it to start in a different place, um, you kind of have to delete your keyframes so um, or trim your layer alternatively. So what that looks like is like I could just delete this keyframe here and it now starts in this place. Alternatively, I could just trim my layer here so that it only just starts here, which is a little bit wonky, but that's kind of the other workaround because editing these motion paths are a pain in the ass. So the last thing I'll show you is that you can actually click and drag to scale this whole thing out, which retimes it. And the very last thing, sorry, this is really cool, is you can right click with all your keyframes selected, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes, and that will actually allow you to start it in a different place. So that is how you make this motion path happen. So I know this was a really quick uh, After Effects tutorial here, um, but this is, this is how it's done, really, really fast, copy and paste into your position property. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I have a bunch of awesome new tutorials coming up on UI animation in After Effects.